So I guess uh, the only statement I have to make as uh, president of the Alberta Union of Provincial Employees is obviously we're watching very carefully what happens in this session, uh, including the budget. Um, our union and our members out there on the front lines every day are, are determined to defend the services that the people of this province rely upon. And uh, we've been watching very closely what uh, the government has in store for those services. So we're here today in the legislature building uh, where legislature is about to open again. And we're going to be watching very carefully um, how the government proceeds, especially as it brings down its budget in a couple of weeks. Are you worried about the impact that's going to have on the members? I'm more worried about the impact it's going to have on Albertans, quite frankly, because already uh, frontline services are stretched to the absolute limit. We've had huge population growth, and there hasn't been the requisite uh, staffing increases on the front line. So Albertans who are already experiencing uh, services stretched to the limit, it's, they're going to find it tougher, and that's concerning, obviously. Our members know on the front lines that they're not responsible for the fiscal mess that the government finds itself in, yet all the Premier has done is point the finger at the hard-working men and women on the front lines that AUP represents. Where are they going to cut on the front lines? I mean, that's, that's my question, because already, as I said, they're stretched to the absolute limit. So again, as AUP members, we have to stay strong through some very difficult times. Stay calm, stay focused, and be strategic. Do Albertans really want to be less safe, uh, less secure? Do, the, do we want more families and children at risk to, to stay at risk? Uh, do we want the highways to be less safe? Do we want the people in long-term care to suffer more because there aren't enough staff to go around? That's the questions Albertans should be asking because they know that the, uh, the services they rely upon are already stretched.